In this video, we will learn how to derive the demand functions from the given indirect utility function. The question is like this. Consider the indirect utility function v is equal to m square upon 4 p1 times p2 where m denotes the budget or income of the consumer p1 and p2 are the prices of good x1 and x2. We have to derive the demand function for good x1 and x2. Uh, by indirect utility function, what we mean when the utility is a function of income and prices of the two goods, we say that is the indirect utility function. From that, we have to calculate the demand function. Okay, so we will be using the Roy's identity. Okay, uh, we will be using uh, Roy's identity. Roy's identity. identity uh, you know for deriving the demand function for good x1 and x2 okay now for raise or raise identity what we do and let me write it here let us say we want to find the demand function for good x1 okay demand function for good x1 is equal to the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to p1 divided by the partial derivative of indirect utility function with respect to income okay and here we have the negative sign so uh, the demand function for good one is the ratio of the percent de percent derivative of indirect utility function with respect to price and the partial derivative of uh, you know uh, indirect utility function with respect to income and that will give us the demand function for good x1 okay now first thing is we need to find out this dv upon dp1 okay so let me write it here dv upon dp1 is equal to okay so we need to differentiate the given utility function with respect to price one okay so uh, let us see what is dv upon dp1 here okay if v is equal to m square upon uh, 4 p1 p2 okay and if i want to differentiate this function with respect to p1 so i can rewrite this function uh, in this fashion that is uh, we have m square okay so if p1 is here i will uh, put it into the numerator so it will become p1 raised power minus one you know when uh, denominator is transposed to numerator the exponent sign gets changed okay so here it is p1 raised power one it will become p raised power minus one divided by uh, four p2 now i can take the derivative that means dv upon d p1 will be equal to so taking derivative of this uh, indirect utility function with respect to p1 so derivative of p1 by power function rule will be equal to so we have p1 raised power minus 1 we know by power function uh, rule the exponent becomes coefficient so we will have minus 1 then we have p1 raised power minus 1 minus 1 okay m square since we are taking the partial derivative with respect to p1 so m square and other stuff will remain constant or same so for p2 now this comes out to be so i can write it in this fashion minus 1 into p1 is minus uh, p1 minus 1 into minus minus 1 uh, minus 1 is minus 2 uh, m square upon 4p2 okay if i again transpose this p1 square to the denominator the exponent sign will get changed so we have minus m square transposing this p1 square to denominator again so we have 4 in place of p1 we will have p1 square okay it was a minus 2 transposing it became plus 2 and we have p2 okay so this is our uh, this denotes our dv upon dp1 
okay so dv upon dp1 in place of this i can write first we have minus let me write it here minus then we have this minus okay we have minus m square upon 4 p1 square p2 okay so this is uh, this partial derivative divided by m. now we need to take the derivative of the utility indirect utility function with respect to income so let's take it here okay so i don't have the space here so we have dv dv upon dm will be equal to if this is our uh, indirect utility function so m square is in the numerator so we don't have to you know interchange this time so the derivative of m square will be 2m so i will get 2m upon 4 p1 p2 okay so this is dv upon dm that comes out to be twice m upon 4 p1 p2 so minus into minus will become plus we have m square uh, let me write it in this fashion minus into minus is plus so as draw yet it m square upon 4 p1 square p2 okay now if i transpose this to numerator it will get reciprocated okay from the basic rules of mathematics it will become 4 p1 uh, p2 divided by twice m okay here we can do some cancellation so m and 1 ml get cancelled p2 and p2 got cancelled we have p1 and we have uh, p1 square so 1 p1 and 1 p1 square will get cancelled 4 and 4 to go cancelled at Firava can can no yes at Firava see so we got here in the uh, numerator we are left with 1 m divided by we have this 2 and 1 p1 square so 1 p1 okay that is p1 and this is our demand function for good x1 what we call the marshallian demand function here okay this was uh, how to calculate the demand function for good x1 with same logic if you want to calculate the demand function for good x2 what will you do and let me rub this out okay uh, same thing you will do so if you want to calculate the demand function for good x2 so i will write here x2 this time we take the partial derivative with respect to p2 of the given indirect utility function again uh, uh, since v is equal to let me write it here v is equal to m square upon 4 p1 p2 in this case we will transpose this p2 to the numerator so we will have uh, p2 minus 1 m square upon 4 p1 then dv upon d p2 will be equal to taking the derivative this time with respect to p2 so we will get by power function rule minus one will become coefficient we have p2 exponent is subtracted by one m square will remain as it is because we are taking partial derivative with respect to p2 then we have four p1 in denominator so solving it again so it will become uh, let me write it here it will become minus uh, p2 raised power minus 2 m square upon 4 p1 that gives us dv upon d p2 will be equal to transposing this to denominator so we are left with m square upon uh, 4 p1 
P2 square exponent sign gets changed when transposing numerator to denominator or vice versa. That means x2 will be equal to then. So dv upon, and we have minus sign obviously, which I forgot to write. We got m square minus from the formula, then we have uh, minus m square upon 4p1 p2 square to this we divide dv upon dm which we calculated which came out to be uh, twice m upon 4p1 p2 okay so minus and minus gets cancelled we have m square upon 4p1 p2 square transposing it will get reciprocated and multiplied so we have 4 p1 p2 divided by twice m again 1 m will get cancelled p p1 p1 cancelled 4 4 cancelled so p2 square and 1 will get cancelled so we are left with m upon uh, uh, twice p2 okay that means uh, demand function for good x1 is equal to m upon 2 p1 which we calculated and x2 that means demand function for good x2 will be equal to m upon 2 p2 okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you